Hey everyone, this is Hedgeman for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you how to make a third person shooter with Game Maker. Now, Game Maker is a free software you can download from yoyogames.com. Now, Game Maker is free software which you can download from yoyogames.com. The newer version is 8.0, and it's completely compatible with version 7.0, which many computers still use. So what you want to do to start out is open Game Maker. Now the first step in making your game is to create sprites. The first thing you're going to do when you open Game Maker is create a sprite. A sprite is any image you're going to use in your game. You can create a new sprite by clicking the sprite button, this red Pac-Man up here, and clicking load sprite. This offers you all of the sprites that Game Maker comes pre-installed with. There's a variety of menus for different types of games that Game Maker recommends. Or you can click Edit Sprite and create your own using the new sprite thing here and editing them yourself. You enter the width height, whatever. What I'm going to do is use these sprites that I already created. Now the first thing that you do once you have your sprites is you're going to want to make sure that they work fine. Here we have my sprite that I use. The first thing you're going to do with your new sprites is create an object. Now this object could be really simple or it could be kind of complex. So the, go ahead here and click create an object. Title your object whatever you want and then select your sprite. Okay. Now click OK. You have you've created your first object. Go ahead and open it back up. The first thing you're going to do is add an event. Now, for this to be your playable character, you need to be able to control it. So let's select key press right, and then the right arrow key. Drag this red arrow set here into the thing. It says move fix. That's what this action is called. Make sure self is selected. Click the right arrow and set the speed to five. You don't need to worry about this relative function down here yet. Click OK. Now repeat this process for key press left. This is the first step of the process. Without adding the next two steps, your object would move continuously even if you release the key. Drag in move fix and click the center button. Leave the zero, let the speed be zero. And click OK. Repeat this for key release left. Click OK and OK again. Now you have some basic movement built in. You might want to see what this looks like, so you need a room. A room is the space in which all events occur in the game. To create a room, click create a room up here at the top. I've already done so, so I'm going to go ahead and click room 30. Here I have my room. When you open yours, you should have an empty gray space like this. In order to add your player, make sure you have it selected as your object here, and click anywhere on the map where it will appear completely. And click the green check mark, and then the green run the game button. A gray space with your playable character should appear. Try pressing the right key. Now release. Your character should stop moving. Push the left key. And release. You now have a character char you now have a character capable of moving left and right. Your next step will be to create walls and floors for your object. So, go ahead and load a sprite that you find suitable for your walls and your floor. I'm going to use the platform sprite. And for the walls,
the wall block. The next thing you need to do is create an object. So click select the create object. This will be my wall. And select your sprite. The next step is to add an event. Select add event and collision. Then player. Drag in the mood fix and select object. Click this and then click player. And select the center block. Click OK. This means that when the player collides with this wall it will stop moving. Click OK. Now go to your room and add blocks. For this you can either click one at a time or you can hold shift. If you move your mouse downward in a straight line it will add those blocks in a straight line while holding shift. Then click the green arrow to play your game. Try walking your player into one of the walls. He should stop moving immediately. Now reverse direction. Stops moving again. Close your game. At this point you might want to save your game to make sure you don't lose any progress. Your next step will be to add floors and gravity. This will be covered in part two of this tutorial.